So has this ever happened to you? You experience something that somebody else is going through and you experience it so deeply that you almost feel like it happened to yourself. And you can't quite make sense of that because it didn't happen to you and yet you feel it as if it did. My daughter had been dating this one particular uh, person and boy, they were, oh, they were awesome together. It was so fun to witness them experiencing life together and the love that was between them. Well, one thing led to another and they chose to break up. When that happened, I was devastated. I felt like it had happened to me. I lost my appetite. I lost my reason to live. I was crying all the time. I couldn't sleep. All the things that my daughter was experiencing the morning, I was also as if it was happening to me. The other thing that I've experienced is I remember when things have happened really, really well. I remember when my son one time, he was only about 13 or 14 and he had written a complete orchestration. So I ended up taking it over to the local college and I had the, the college advanced band play this orchestration called the Rise of the Phoenix that my, at that time now, 14, 15 year old son, because it took a while for the band to practice it. And we sat in this uh, stadium that would uh, hold, or it was a, a auditorium that would hold like a thousand people. And my son Adam and I stood there in the middle listening to the college band play his creation. And they got done with it. And he's so, oh my God, he was amazing. He goes, I need a little bit more of the brass. Let's do it again. I mean, <laughs> to witness that. And yet I felt like this triumph, this success was happening to me. Why? Well, because I was there for the two years that it took him to write this thing to play with the music, to, I bought him all the things that he needed to make it happen when it comes to, you know, the, 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 the paper with all the different notes and all the other stuff. And I, as he would play it and think about, I was there with him that whole time. I felt like the triumph of watching the college band play, it was happening to me as well. So has this ever happened to you that even though it didn't happen to you personally, you experienced it as if it happened to you? I'm wondering if, if you could hold some space to ponder this with me. What if on some level, clearly my son wrote the, the composition and experienced it being played for him. And I was the witness of that. On some level, my daughter was dating her significant other and eventually they broke up and I was the witness of that. But what if in another frequency, in another reality, in another density, out in the quantum field, in another density, in another timeline, however you want to vernacular, the way you want to say it, it was also happening to me. I was the one writing that orchestration and then watching the band play it for me. What if I was also the one experiencing this beautiful first love experience and then the breakup, that I was actually experiencing it? What if, even though we have been taught that we are separate beings, and it's true, in this particular dimension, this density that, has, that is uh, God consciousness slowed down to the point where it manifests 
becomes matter and then separate beings. There is separation. That is definitely a reality. But what if there was equally a valid reality that at some dimension, in some density, there isn't a separation? And I am that. I am also. So we have been taught that there is separation, that there's God up there, wherever up there is. God is up there and we are down here. And God is watching everything that's going on, all the struggling, all the happy, all the mourning, all the joy that's happening to the human collective here. And God is up there watching it. And what if in that third dimension density, that's reality, that's true. But what if there is also something equally as true that there is no separation be between God and us. That if we continued in the awakening, in the expansion of consciousness, we would remember that we are God, we are the consciousness, the unity consciousness, that one voice, that one frequency, the monad, we are that having a third density being in a human body experience. And in that way, we are also God experiencing suffering and happy, mourning and joy. And that's what the awakening is. The remembering that we are both the human having the experience being witnessed by God and we are the God experiencing the human condition. It's both. I know it's a lot, but what if? This is in response to one of my beloved viewers who's been writing saying, I'm really struggling to understand why God up there in heaven would allow humans to suffer. And my response is, there is definitely that. But what if there is also not this dispassionate God allowing all this stuff to happen here, but what if there is God in human form experiencing it? And as we expand in consciousness, we awaken to that is the reality of things. And we can hold both realities that it feels like we are separate from God. But at the same time, we are also God having this experience. And see, we want things to make sense in the mind. Mm-mm. What I'm asking you to do, and, and if you're interested in me creating a video about this, let me know. The thing to do is take all of this, trying to ch -ch 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 understand it in the mind, because you won't, 
and pull it down through the heart, down into the body, and see how this resonates in your physical body. How does this land and settle in your body? I can tell you what happened for me to awaken to this truth. I can tell you some of the things that I did that looking back, I'm like, oh, I didn't know that that's what I was doing that helped me awaken to the truth that I can live both as a human, struggling, suffering, going through things like pain, mourning, forgiveness, bitterness, starvation, all the other things that humanity is experiencing. The lovely things as well. How I can be both that and God witnessing it all. That I can be both and that I realize, wow, I am both. I can tell you the things that I did that I think paved the way for me to come into that space. If you're interested, let me know and I'd make a video about that. Because here's the deal, there is no other. From what I am experiencing, there is no other. So as I am awakening and remembering, so are you. And as you are still in a little bit of a, a darkness of not understanding, and I don't mean darkness like in a bad way because I got all sorts of stuff to tell you about the shadow. To me, I'm all about the shadow. I think the shadow is just as holy and beautiful as the sunshine. Lost my train of thought now. <sighs> anyway, when you, oh, I know what it was, when you if there is a part of you that is still kind of, I'm not sure, then there's a part of me that's still, I'm not sure. I am yet awakening as well. And that's why I am passionate about sharing what I know. You share what you know, and together we can experience this awakening together. So, <sighs> wasn't sure I was going to get that out. My name is Lisa, also known as Energy Gal, because for me, ever since I was a little kid, I've just always felt energies, and then I've come into a place of being able to see energies, and energy just makes sense to me. So I do coach people one-on-one, -on -one, help them find out where they are leaking power, and we go, and we re-narrate the story, and we just enjoy the journey of your awakening to your I am powerful self. I encourage you to check out the guided meditations for healing, um, healing the inner child wounds and the sound meditations because everything is frequency and um, any of the other playlists that I have. Be sure to uh, like, subscribe, comment, and share. And I hope that this video has helped you hold all sorts of space for all sorts of ideas. I'll see you next time, everybody.